Oh no, you won't believe it. My ants escaped from the Vivarium. They breached through the powder barrier and now they are all over the place. This is serious. Alright, now one thing people always ask me how I keep my ants from escaping. Well, I answer them that I use baby powder barrier to keep them in. Mixing baby powder with alcohol, applying it on the surface of the wall and it will be too slippery for them to cross. This works best on Campinodus, Salaxis Geminata and Carabara Diversa. But we ant keepers in Malaysia had one common problem with this barrier, that is keeping Heterochina logicornis in. So here's a method which I figured out how to use baby powder barrier to prevent that. Here I use the same method on my Nanadira colony, which is nesting in the vivarium. So the method I use is the tapping method. It is basically tapping on the dried baby powder barrier so that it will be not so thick so that the ants will not be able to cling onto the thick powder barrier which will make them to fall off very easily. You will get something like this. If the concentration of the baby powder is high, the effect will be even greater, like this. Now you must have noticed that there's no video uploads for 2 weeks straight before this upload. That's because I went back to my hometown to cast my vote for my beloved country. Everything in the vivarium is flourishing. You can see that millipede, there are actually lots of baby millipedes in this vivarium now. And lots of springtails. And look at those plants. Wow. When I came back, I'm so excited with the thriving plants in this vivarium. But then, something made me worry. This fern had grown beyond the vivarium, like a beanstalk breaching the ants out into the world of the giants living above them. The ants are mostly gone. Even the elates and roots that are under this driftwood are gone. There's not much left. I'm not even sure if the queen is still in there. I tried to water the vivarium. In the past, whenever I water it, the ants will go crazy. But now, there's no sign of it. Then, I made this shocking decision.
decided to release the remains of the colony. I'm not sure if the queen is still in there, but I had decided to release them. This truly saddens me because this is my first M colony. They are almost one year old. Later that night, I saw the workers carrying roots out of the vivarium. I will never forget how excited I am when I first caught the queen from my friend's laptop USB port. When I first transfer the brutes and the queens from a glass bottle into a proper test tube set up by hand. When the workers first emerge. When I watch them under a magnifying glass for hours every day. Those days are really, really memorable. I will never forget the moment I moved them into this vivarium and how they had conquered this vivarium, outcompete the other ant species living in this vivarium. But it seems like it is time for me to say goodbye. Goodbye, my Nalaburia colony. You will be missed. Thank you for this memorable journey and the starter of this passion of ant love within me. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there had experienced the same thing like me. So if you do, please share your experience with me in the comment section below. I would love to hear your story too of how did you start your love for ants. So here's a footage of my brother demonstrating how to use the tapping method for his BCA colony. So if you need to, repeat this footage and ignore my voice to learn it. So happy ant keeping guys, it's ant love forever. <laughs>